It's so sad that I've lost my brother today. He was so close despite uh, when we grew up, everybody went their own ways. But we were very tight. Eric was like a father to me, despite I was the oldest. But I always felt like I'm the one following him. He was like the elder brother to me. He was so close to me and was always there for me. I'll always remember him. He'll always be in my heart. The only thing that right now I wish that he would have done, he taught me how to love. He taught me how to forgive. He taught me how to listen. He encouraged me, but the only thing That, that my brother did teach me was how I was going to live without him. Oh, Christ the solid rock I stand all of the ground is sinking sand all of the ground is sinking sand Eric was he was an angel in disguise. He was a healer. Uh, he was a he was a star seed. He was the light, and uh, it 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 took. You had to go through something for you to see it. Uh, op uh, in, naked eyes wouldn't see it, but in the end, everyone was like, "Okay." Now, now I get it. Uh, that was Eric. Um, he made me the person I am today. He made, he gave me the strength, the principles, the tools that I need to go through life. All I'm asking is for you to continue Eric's legacy. Whatever impact he had in your life, do not forget about it. Continue with it. Go on with it because that was his goal. His goal was to create a legacy. That's all he wanted in life. Eric is not only my son. He was my best friend, very close friend. He was my father, and he also played the role of a mother, an encourager. Eric was a giver. Eric was a teacher. Probably among us, us, there are people that Eric mentored and now their lives are better. Please continue the vision he taught you when he was alive. Eric is and was my only son. Um, you know what that means. I deeply loved Eric. I repeat, I deeply loved. I conclude with words from a verse in the Bible, Daniel 12, 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. I will very much miss my son, Eric. She's sitting in Gaira. A time will come, there will be nobody to encourage you. Just encourage yourselves in the Lord, and it shall be well. Eric was a hero. He was a great man. Eric is the kind of a person who would not mix his words. When he was happy, he was happy. When he was not happy with you, he was not happy. May Eric's soul rest in peace. 
May the angels take him to the Father. Eric was the first man to make me know Nairobi. And as I am here, I knew Nairobi when I had qualified to join university. So when I came around, I visited my uncle, Josephat Ngaira, at night in the morning. In, I think in the morning hours. Mze took me to town. He escorted me to the university. And he allocated Eric a responsibility of coming over to the university to ensure that I know Nairobi. That was Eric. He was a good man. That even when things were not so good, he never lost that smile and that zest for life. And um, all of us have broken some rules somewhere. And uh, thank God that he forgives all our mistakes, isn't it? And also our sin. So if you're here today and uh, you need to seek that place with God, I pray that you will be quick to go and apologize and say, Lord, forgive me, because he's our savior. He's able to forgive us all our transgressions and all our sins. He welcomes us to be in relationship with him. And so even as we send off Eric today, um, just that easiness and that ability to smile uh, through difficulty, but also quick to ask for forgiveness uh, when we know that we are in the wrong. My memory of Eric, he used to write drama skits and, and like a whole show. If we had Easter or we had Christmas or we had a children, something special, he used to be the one in charge of writing those scripts. And he was so creative he was so, so creative. People would give their lives to Christ because of his acting. People would come to Christ because he was so expressive. He was so passionate in his acting. He was so good if we lacked a woman to play a woman's role. He would play the woman's role and do a better job than the girls on the team. He would come and show the girls, my friend, this is how you do it in case you're missing your cue. He was so good at it, and he was so passionate about it. And that is my memory of Ngaira. I didn't like bikes so much because of weaving. I was associated them with accidents. And I remember I told him, these bikes of yours. But you know something funny from the time he went? Now I'm so interested in bikes, I think I might want to ride one. I'm so interested. Every time I see a biker, I see Eric, I feel happy. When they weave, I didn't like the weaving. But when I see them now, I see Eric, the brave boy, the invincible boy. I see him and I miss him. In 2018, we had an event in Nakuru somewhere called Kabati. It was a rainy season, we left so early in the morning. We arrived in Kabati around 11 or so. And then Eric says, rings and says, Auntie, are you there? I said, yes, I'm coming. He came there on his bike with his friends. <laughs> that is love. They left a little early, but when we left much later than them, we found them beyond Naivasha. They would weave we lose them, then we see them again. And I always thought that Eric will bury me. I'm not supposed to be the one burying Eric because I thought he would ride with his riders to my funeral. I'm not the one supposed to be coming to Eric's funeral. So on behalf of Deckers, let me allow me to just read about how they used to uh, roll it. They say, Tunachapa gumzo kiasi, and we laugh and have fun and reminisce about our previous group rides when we usually met. We always laughed about it. You are always loud and proud, and Kama Kawaida, the confidence always oozed out freely. On that day, we rode with you for the last time. And when my time comes to take the last ride, I'll do it with a smile because I know you did the same. We will always have you within our midst, in all our rights. You took the journey well, 
every time I wear my helmet before I ride, I will always look up and smile because I know you'll be willing to smile back down at me. As we close our visors today as we journey, uh, and we journey back home, we will always see that wonderful smile of Raz, that rider with a big bike, yet a big heart. The big guy and the confidence will make me handle my throttle well, knowing you reach home well just before me. Please don't brag about it. Rest in peace, my brother. Kila mutoto ata mutoko anajua Eric. Alikuwa na kucha na kuchesa na yeye na awa. Na kwanza, amependa kun, alikuwa amependa kununua vi. Biscuit ya kiweka. Ama biscuit ya kiweka. Sasa ita watoto wote. Majirani. Wakuje. Kila mutu anamupea. Kila mutoto anamupea. Wakati wa mesiki ya meenda. Angeenda huko. Sababu hapa ni, ni, mbare, ni, ni mbali mrefu. Wangekua wengi, wengi, wengi. Wanalia. Uh, he used to tell me, do what your heart is telling you before you do anything. Put yourself first. Do you. After you're happy, when you're contented with whatever you want, others can come in. Indeed, of all deaths, the death of a child is a tough, tough, and very hard death to bear. The death of a young man like Eric is painful. Is painful. It is the old who are supposed to die. It is the old who are supposed to bury the young. Because we, the old, have lived our lives. We have accomplished certain things in life. We have seen it all. And our expectation is that the young are to continue living and to carry on the legacy. And I'm sure we ask the question, why? Why? Why the young ones? Life with its beauty, life with its wonderment, why can't the young be able to experience the things that we, the old ones, have experienced. Why can't they enjoy life? The life that we have enjoyed. Why do we have to be the ones barring these young people? Why? Brothers and sisters, the truth is the young also die. Death comes at a very unexpected time. There's, I don't know if it is Izuka or Itaho, I hear uh, there used to be a song that said, Dikutsa idi, Dikutsa, Dibudomuiho. Atakube okundu kwedi iroko. This is all, this is Greek. Kukutsanga. Atakube okura imbuena kukutsanga. Yani, death has no friend. It does not matter how evil, how bad you are. Death meets you. It does not matter how good you are. Death meets you. And so as I was thinking about Eric, I thought about that story in the book of 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 15. David loses his child. David loses his baby. And David has prayed. David has prayed. He has fasted. But no matter what he did, God takes this child. Let me say this. Death for us without going through the whole chapter is a reminder that we can be recalled 
anytime. God can recall us anytime. God can come for us anytime. It does not matter your state in life. It does not matter your age. God can recall you anytime. In verse 23, what David said, he is dead. Amelia, amekubali, that death has taken place. He is dead. Can I bring him back to, to life again? I will go to him, but he will not come to me. They was, there was relief on realization of what God has done. Eric will live in our memories. Eric has left a legacy. We should be encouraged by the things that have been said here about Eric and decide in our own hearts that these are the things that we are going to emulate, brothers and sisters. When we die, there's a home. Yes. I used to try to carry some things in Kiluya. The Bible says, Nabtuakandi, Hurined Yomboho, Dirura, Hunyasai, Inyumba, Erao Mboa, Nemihono, Eraua, Edimuikuru. That we have a home. A home not made with human hands. An eternal home. Which is in heaven. Brothers and sisters, that is what we would desire your legacy to be. That is what we would desire for you to have. That you have an eternal home in heaven. And this eternal home comes to you because you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior. You have invited him in your heart. And you have said, Lord Jesus Christ, I need you. I want you. Save me. And Jesus Christ has said that he will save you. If you call upon him, he will save you. as we go to Rimpa to lay our son to rest. My prayer and the family's prayer is for you that you'd come to the place in your spiritual life where you know Jesus Christ as your personal savior.